Yo, what's going on, guys? So we have a new event, the Blaze Up event. They also added this sloth right here into a bundle. I'm not gonna buy it, but very interesting to say the least. Either way, we've got a new event. And of course, with a new event, we get a new mastery reward to unlock. This one being the Gamers Blueprint. Uh, oh my God, bro. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, it's not a camo. I almost didn't go for this until I previewed it and saw, first of all, it actually looks pretty nice, but not only that, it's animated. As you can see, it has a whole animation on it. It might glow in the dark. And also, I want to see how this animation looks with camos over the top of it. So I worked my way through completing all 11 of these challenges and we've got one left. And we have to get 25 operator kills with a cooked frag grenade. I thought this one would be funny for me to leave last. We'll see. Do it! Hopefully this isn't too bad. The only way this goes wrong is... Hold up, hold that. Okay, I got him. Did that count as one? It did. The only way this goes wrong is if they use the perk that stops them. Oh, yeah, that perk right there. Hold up. Bro, how is he not dead? Yeah, we might have some problems here. I think the whole point of this event is to make the weirdest challenges possible because all of the challenges that I've had to do have been so random. Why did it bounce off of a flipping rock? Oh, this is going to be annoying. Hold up, hold that. Nope. Hold this. There we go. Look, this one. Get hit. He's got a perk on. This guy is so annoying. No, he's got it on too? Nah, they are trolling. That didn't even kill him. Oh my. Bro, there's no way they've done this to me. There's no way everybody has put on that perk. Oh my God. It's him again. It's him again. Yeah, this is going to take a lot longer than I thought. Everyone's got it. Everyone's got it. I can't do this. Okay, yeah, that one's almost impossible. So we're doing it in zombies instead. The zombies version of the challenge is to get 250 kills with stamina up active. So let's put that on and let's fly to this Outlast contract. Wait, someone told me I can just do it multiple times. Oh, wait, I can get this high? Oh, that makes everything so much easier. I did not expect to be playing zombies today, but here we are. There was actually another challenge that is bugged in this event, for me at least. I thought I'd mention it just in case any of you guys are going through the same thing. It's the stim one. There's a challenge where you need to use a certain amount of stims or battle rage. I tried using the stims and battle rage and none of them counted towards the challenge. So maybe it's bugged. Maybe I was doing it wrong. Maybe I need to do something to trigger it, but but all I know is it wasn't working. So I had to do the rebirth challenge instead, which was land in the gondola. <laughs> Very easy. Let's activate this PND. And now we just need to get 250 kills. Pretty simple. A lot of you guys always get mad when I use very high packer punch crystals and legendary tools and stuff like that when I'm doing little things like this. Honestly, it's just because I've got the schematics for it. I hardly play zombies. So whenever I hop into a zombies game, I might as well use the schematics that I've got, right? I don't know. See, I need to be careful because I always forget to look at the percentage and then I complete the contract by accident. Get me out of here. 96%. Now we should get an infinite spawn of zombies. So I was just thinking as I'm getting a bunch of kills, I cannot wait for round base zombies again. I don't know if that's how it's going to be in the next game because of course it's being made by Treyarch. So they could do another version of this. They could make round base zombies again. Who knows? I don't know. But I was just thinking, especially with the way that they do rewards these days, bro, they could add a round base zombies map and the main Easter egg, once you complete it, you could get a camo. Imagine you complete the main Easter egg in a zombies map and what you unlock is the packer punch camo for multiplayer. Damn. Or for whatever you want to use it on, whether it's in zombies, whether it's in Warzone, whether it's in multiplayer, who knows? And I'm talking about the OG Pack-a-Punch camos, not this. I don't really like these ones. And there we go. Blaze up mastery. See, that was way easier and a lot less stressful. Get me up. Wait, Sonic Glit. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, we're getting a bunch of the camos for this Ram 9 that I've been using. Get me away. Wait, wait, wait. The Xville Heli's already there. Watch out. I just got... 
I just got hit by the propellers. So now if we go over to the event, we can see mastery reward obtained. We have now completed all of these different mini challenges that were, in my opinion, very weird, but I think that's the whole point of the event. And here it is. Look at it. It looks so... Oh, it does glow. Oh, wait, now nah, this could be crazy. This actually could be sick. If we get the right map with this thing and also look at it with some camos over the top of it, we could get some crazy combinations. What? Okay, I tried to find this map on purpose because for some reason, weapons or camos that glow just look way better on this map. So here we go. Here it, oh wait, no, excuse me. Please let me just show this off. Here it is in game. Look at that. Bro, that looks crazy. We've also got it with the gold camo as well. You can see how it just passes through. Oh, yo, why are these guys all just trying to stop me from shining? Oh, it's a good movement gun, though. No? I'll tell you that. I feel like I'm gliding with this thing. I definitely do wish it was a camo rather than a blueprint. I don't know. When they add blueprints that look this cool, I'm always thinking, yo, why didn't you just let us put that on any weapon? That would be so sick. Nope. All we need now is the WSP swarm to become meta, and we're good. <laughs> yo. Excuse me. Thank you. Here it is with the forged cab on it. Ah, yeah, this is so sick. Or a blueprint. Of course, most likely I will never use this again. Unless, again, the WSP swarm becomes meta. Why is that fire moving around and following me? Unless the WSP swarm becomes meta. And I don't know if it will. It's a shame because, again, I like the way it looks. I really do. It's just I don't really care for blueprints. Who really does? They are cool to try out once or twice. But then you always go back to the regular weapon. Here it is with the priceless camo on it. So it inverts priceless. Oh, but, oh, okay, great. It inverts priceless. And then also look at that. Yo, that's so sick. This 32 mag is kind of doing me dirty though. But the advantage UAV, these guys are trying so hard too, which is making me have to try extra hard. No, no. Oh. No way, the game ended. I was popping off. Okay, here we are. Look at how far behind I just joined in. Absolutely crazy. But here it is with the interstellar camo on it. Again, it inverts this, so it's all black, but you can still see the glow go all the way through. Look at that. I also took the scope off it just to show that it still does have the effect. I don't know. I really like it, but I'm also just like, eh, it's a blueprint. You know, I never really get hyped for the events that just have blueprints as the reward. That heli just did a whole flip. What the hell is going on with that heli? And then here it is with the bioluminescent camo on it as well. It's also inverted. It's kind of just like a slightly different version of the interstellar one, but you can still see the glow. You know, although it is a blueprint, it's not really something I can get mad about because we're not entitled to these events having camos as the reward. Let's be honest. These are all very random events. So who am I to say, oh no, this needs to be a camo. Nah, it really doesn't. And a lot of people really love blueprint. Oh my goodness. Oh, flip! Wait, I've got a little window here. Get you. Get you. Yo, move, man! Yo, they don't know about my little window. Let's try and break the hill. There's one. Oh, and I'm one shot. Great. There we go. This is so scary with such a small weapon. This map is not built for the WSP swarm. Let's just say that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wait, there's another one. Where did you come from? Well, there's no point in me staying over here because I'm not really helping the team. Hey, you. I don't know where to go. I'm scared for my life. We jump out here. Nope, nothing. Absolutely. I'm dead. Oh! I bunched you it. 
Yeah. Anyway, that is enough Modern Warfare 3 for me today. Before I let you guys go, I want to give a huge shout out to Boohoo Man. You guys can go check out all the clothing using the link in the description. There's a bunch of really nice stuff on there and my code Radders will get you an extra discount at checkout. So go make use of that. We unlocked another mastery reward. I'm not the happiest with this one because it's a blueprint. Let's be honest. We would all prefer a camo, but it was a new event to complete and it also made me do some really weird things. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.